Alright guys, it is 7 a.m. Let's start with some stretching and then we'll get on with the day. starting my work day I will try to start by reading something off my reading list I'm trying to avoid going on social media right off in the morning so let's start with what does your gaze reveal about you on the privacy implications of eye tracking sounds interesting right okay this paper is really interesting so I'm linking it down in the description if you're interested in and want to give it a read time to start the day So it's Monday, I already planned what I needed to do for the week uh, yesterday on Sunday. This is what I usually do. I try to uh, review my past week and then schedule the next one. That way when I start working on Monday, I know exactly what I need to do and I can jump straight in. Everything is set up on calendar. I have my tasks uh, on Notion and then I have the tasks specific for Dashbone on trail and with that it's like very easy to work I can just pick a task work on it and then move on like that every day so I'm gonna have a pretty focused period of time to work this morning and then we'll go have a workout let's go Yes, it should be. Okay, it's now 11 and uh, I've been working a bit on Dashbong. So I've worked on this on this special mode where basically every paddle that you create is going to be fragile. So each time the ball is going to hit a paddle, it's going to instantly disappear. But it, it works pretty well. And also I've worked a bit more on another special mode. Here is the other mode that I created, which is the moving obstacle. So right now it's a bit weird, as you can see. The obstacles are following the orientation of the path. So I'm probably going to change that. It works pretty well, so I'm happy with the result. Um, I can show you real quick how it's made. Basically, a moving obstacle is just that. So it's a path with a path follow to the node and a remote transform. So basically the path follow to the node is going to follow the path and the remote transform is going to send the transform to the static body which is uh, here. And then there's an animation player which is just going to loop the unit offset of the path follow. It's time for a coffee, then I have another hour of work and then we go to the gym. Okay, I'm done now with what I was doing. I redefined three maps. I'm going to show you them on screen right now. It's now 12 p.m. It's time to go to the gym and you're coming with me. Let's go. Pretty sunny outside.
okay, I'm back home. Uh, I'm going to prepare myself some lunch and I'm going to eat outside. Woo! Okay, I just finished eating and now it's time to go back. I need to finish a script for a video and then we're going to go back to game development. Let's go! I'm done with the script uh, and now I'm going back to Dashpong. I've created three maps this morning in Affinity Designer, so I'm going to export them and use them in game. I just finished implementing the maps that I uh, redesigned this morning. They work pretty well. I implemented X, uh, corner goals, and octagon. I still have to tweak some stuff. Uh, one is a bit too big and uh, maybe make sure that everything is perfect and that uh, everything is looking good. Um, but it's, uh, it's, looking, it's looking pretty good right now. So I think uh, this is going to be the end of my work for today. It is six now uh, It's still pretty sunny outside. Um, I have some stuff to do I will slack off a bit and then we'll go to the gym again, but this time to do some flips. Let me show you what it's What it's like outside Pretty beautiful today. All right, time to go to the gym. Let's go. gym I ate and it's now time to go to bed so see you guys good night wow that was weird it was almost too perfect ah oh, shit I didn't wake up probably should have gone to bed instead of staying up browsing reddit <sighs> let's get a coffee first and I go to work I've been browsing for two hours now I should go to the gym I don't really feel like it. I'm just gonna skip today's workout, that way I can work. But now I feel hungry. Alright, I'm going to eat and after that I will to work for sure. I should take a nap real quick. This meal is making me feel sleepy. I'll be ready to work after that. It's now 5 and I've done nothing. I should really get going. Okay, so I want to clear things out a bit in this part. I have some things to say about the whole devlog stuff. 
First of all, don't get me wrong, I like devlogs, and I really don't think they're inherently bad. The goal of this video was mostly to remind you that what you see online is not exactly what's going on in people's life. In the era of the internet and social media, it's easy to get lost between real and fake, and to start comparing your entire life to the highlight of someone else's. One big problem in devlog especially is the apparent ease the developer has when creating something. They can tell you that they struggle to create what you're seeing, but in the end, you don't really see them struggling. The difficulty is often brushed off, simply because it's not super interesting. You don't really want to see a devlog where someone is struggling to debug its player movement for 3 hours straight. It's not glamorous, and the nature of the devlog and the videos on the internet doesn't allow us to show that. This struggle is an inherent part of the process, and it's easy to make it seem less than it really is, especially once you figure out the problem. I can tell you that most often than not, I don't really know what I'm doing. It's very common for me to doubt my abilities, my career choice, and the quality of my game. Game development is a lot of glue and straps everywhere, and I can't tell you that everything is neatly coded with enough abstraction that I could easily evolve the project. It simply is not true. So what's usually happening is the dev talks about a feature or a bug he wants to tackle. You see a little montage or a time lapse and boom, the problem is solved. The devlog nearly always ends up being a cool story with a happy ending. But this is a devlog, we know that it's not exactly like real life, you may say. And it's true, if you really think about it, you know that it takes much more time for your favorite game dev to create a feature than what you see in his videos. But how much time do you really think it takes? The hard truth is that even if we think we are aware, most of our thoughts are unconscious and it's easy to create a skewed image of people's capabilities versus yours. Faster than you think, you'll start to doubt your ability to create stuff, and if you try, you'll maybe spend a good amount of time asking yourself why you need so much time, when people can do much better, much faster. This is a great simplification of the problem, but I think you start to get the idea. It's easy to compare yourself against others, even though the comparison is not fair, at all. If you want more thoughts on the problem, Dark Dax made a great video about it, link in the description. A lot of videos on YouTube across all categories are made in a way that makes whatever they're creating look almost flawless, and game development videos are no stranger to that idea. Is there a solution to that? I don't really think there is one for the usual devlog format, simply because it's impossible to show everything. The only thing you can do is enjoy devlogs for what they are, entertainment. Maybe you'll get some tips and inspiration, and that's cool, but you should always remind yourself that what you see is just a glimpse of a small portion of someone else's life. I believe the closest we can get to seeing someone developing something are live streams. When a dev is streaming, you can see the thought process, the struggles, the mistakes, and how long it really takes for them to create stuff. Of course, you don't have all the information, and lots of stuff can still be handled outside of the live stream. But still, it gives a closer representation of what it's like to create stuff. I really want to finish this video with a positive vibe. If you're a developer vlogging, please continue and maybe show more of your struggles to the world as a way to show that we're just humans and not everything is easy. If you're watching devlogs, please continue and keep in mind that not everything you see is a true representation of real life. Enjoy what can be enjoyed and use that inspiration to create stuff yourself. And that's it for the video, like and subscribe if you like my content, and if you want to support me you can wishlist Dashbong on Steam, the local multiplayer game I'm working on. I'll see you in the next video, and in the meantime, have a great day, bye!